Hello everyone, welcome back to the exciting tummy rubbing action that is Demon's Crest. Today we're going to be visiting Atlantis, and perhaps revisiting Phalanx as well. We'll see how the video goes. Let's go ahead and get this party started though. Dive into the watery depths, well, close to the watery depths, we're not going to really be diving into them. Firebrand is incapable of uh, handling the great pain that would arise. But as much as I've played this game of late, you figure I'd be a little bit better at the control scheme. PS2 controller or not. But I'm still having trouble adjusting all the flying mechanics, but that's okay though. We'll probably do fine. Dash through the statue. And switch to the aerial gargoyle, because we'll be taking a shortcut. How about that? You see how conveniently delicious that was? It was tremendous. And because that life up is right there, we're going to be grabbing it. How about that? The aerial gargoyle is something that really ends up bothering me. Uh, the controls for that whenever I play this game, too. Remember, that's some problems, it seems. Also, there you go. His putrescence. Her putrescence? Their putrescence? The Crawler. This melted cheese boss of absolute... <laughs> I don't have enough words in my lexicon to define exactly what the hell the Crawler is. Other than soon to be dead. Let's go ahead and switch and prepare. Legendary Gargoyle with the hand equipped. Oh, also, uh, no one ended up noting this in the comments, but I ended up making some mistakes of my own, I do believe, uh, in a prior video when I was testing out the hand and its effects with firing the claw, because I think I was shooting Demon Fire instead. Claw fires three times. Tornado fires three times. Demon Fire fires twice. These are the important questions that we needed to answer. I did so properly. I self-corrected everyone. Anyway, we're not going to try and admire this boss too much, in part because there's not a whole lot to admire about the crawler, I don't think. And the crawler decided to hem me here into the corner. Vulnerability is clearly the eye. You can only hurt the melted cheese whenever the eye of it is exposed. Because of the reasons. Could you please go be in a better place now? Look, I'll kill these things. Will you expose yourself now? Thank you. Thank you. It's about time. We have places to be, man. You have found the Crest of Water. With it, you can morph into Tidal Gargoyle and swim beneath the oceans. Yes. That's great, right? Also, Phalanx's Cathedral has opened up once again. We're really paying it a visit. That's all the other things. We overprepared in fighting the massive, mighty Fenrir like, like Grevwan, or Grevwan, or whatever. I still have all these potions. I think we can just go ahead and finish this. The it'll be okay run. I hope we can. I hope I don't eat those words. We're already off to a bad start. Got this jester looking motherfucker. They have a sliding attack. They have like an arc like fireball that they throw. Trevor doesn't want to play around with them. We got places to go. Oh boy! It's everyone's favorite friend. The mini boss of champions. That said, Grimith has a few better tools to uh, quickly dispose of this guy. Oh no! I let him get ahead in. That's right, let him. There's a pity hit. You know how it goes sometimes. That one, though, that was a mistake. 
<laughs> That's alright, we're gonna be getting a full heal after bashing the hippogriff once more. Just a speed bump for us, really. That's fine by me, though. No. This annoying part. Right. Let's go ahead and equip the armor here. This is gonna be tragic to watch, I'm sure of it. Alright, we haven't done that awfully yet. Uh-oh. Here's where it all goes, downhill. Of course, when Firebrand is hit, he loses his, you know, flight, and you have to reset it by pressing the button. If you don't, or if you're currently in flight and you press the wrong button to let go of the flight, Firebrand decides that he wants to be in a better place. Yes, this is annoying. Part of it is pilot error. A large part of it is pilot error, really, don't be deceived. Oops. Remember this having some difficulty pressing the correct button today. Now, oh, hold on. It's because you're using the wrong form, Grimmith. My bad. The bell is right here, and it does contain a life up for us. So while I'm in the vicinity, I'll just go ahead and grab that. No big deal. Now we'll set off into the high velocity winds. You could use a uh, claw to circumvent these pillars, of course. I'm uh, deciding to stick with the air master here. For better or worse. Now let's see. Where is that talisman? Here we go. Final talisman, the Fang Talisman. Uh, it increases Firebrand's damage output. It's not bad. It's not bad. We'll be making some use out of it. Don't you worry. That bell doesn't contain anything of value other than broken dreams. We'll be ignoring it and just fall. Like leaves. In fall. And slow down because we're latching onto the onto the terrain. My bad, everyone. My bad. You see, when we give Phalanx the time here to set up his base, he's got a lot more for us. He's got an actual stage for us to admire. For all the admiring we're actually doing, right, folks? The art in this game and the music and the setting is really good. I'm not really taking the time to fully immerse you all and dunk your heads in it so you can enjoy everything. But, you know, Firebrand has a lot of power and cap capability to just blow past things. Or fly past them, as the case may be. So we don't have to. Just stand around and admire it all. But we will have to do this refight. Oh boy. <laughs> Damn. Thankfully, i uh, souped up as I am now. It only takes four hits. And we get ourselves another full heal. Move past this area. And we're back to the scene that we saw in the rusty casual run. When we fought Phalanx. You finally arrived. The text is a bit different. I thought for a moment that you might not make it. Now, kneel down before me and beg for mercy, just like you did a thousand years ago. Yeah, it, it's been a while since that fight. Apparently. Or whatever, I, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Less focus on lore, more focus on gore. Let's see if I can handle this well. Well, that's already a bad start. That said, we are definitely more powerful coming into this fight. But Phalanx has another form after this.
Now, I thought you might have the power to defeat General Arma, but you do not have nearly enough to defeat me, the Great Phalanx. The Crest. The Crest of Heaven. Phalanx invokes it. Firebrand just watches on in, I don't know, awe? Anticipation? Beats me. We'll go into phase two of the Phalanx fight. It's definitely more difficult. In Parkers, the terrain is more difficult. Now feel the wrath of heaven. This uh, environment, this arena starts flooding with water. Uh, you could certainly make use of a title gargoyle. I won't be doing so, I don't think. I think I might be able to take care of this pretty much with the same strategy that I used to take care of Form 1. However, if Grimith misses his button presses, or incorrectly presses a button, you know, disappointment will be abound for everyone. Come on, Griffith. You can do it, buddy. Lag! Damn. Alright, and the water is permanently gone, and Phalanx is done. I didn't even drink any of my vials. Ah, those uh, three ginsengs and the elixir, they're gonna go to heaven. <laughs> My power is fading, but you shall not have the satisfaction of killing me. Behold, my left arm. Firebrand watches, panting. As Phalanx seals himself within the crest of heaven. And that was a load-bearing moment, so... Time for the cathedral to collapse. Handled that pretty well. Didn't actually even drink any of my vials. Use any of my vellum scrolls. So all that overpramp I did for the first Gremlin fight, I guess, was wasted. <laughs> well, shit. If only we could all be so fortunate, right? Better to over-prepare than under-prepare. Facing certain death at the hands of Firebrand. Phalanx sealed himself into the crest of heaven. Forever. Because we know how forever really lasts, folks. Avenged, Firebrand hid all of the crests. Okay. I, I, maybe one day, someone will find it. again, and prove themselves worthy. To meet him in battle. Firebrand's like, eh, I don't, like, have fun. It's like a Dragon Ball hunt, or it's effectively like, like, like Firebrand doesn't want to be the new Arma, right? And like, carry around all the crests. And on that day, victory shall once again be his. So now Firebrand is using it as like a goad for adventurers, effectively. Like, yeah, go questing. Go questing for these crests. And then come after me. I don't need them. They're crutches. I don't know, there's some pretty damn good crutches. Some winter snow, along with a zoomed in focus of the crest of heaven. 
in which Phalanx dwells forever. Presumably forever. And that's the end. So the demon realm doesn't get overthrown into chaos. Arma is killed. Firebrand avenges himself on uh, Phalanx, but, you know, Phalanx does avoid final death and instead chooses eternal imprisonment. Perhaps because it's easier to somehow get your way out of eternal imprisonment than it is to get your way out of death. Hell do I know about the demon realm, though, folks. The game beginning once again with the fight versus Somulo, the zombie dragon. Of course, the first of several encounters we've had with our good friend, the Hippogriff. Hi guys, I'm ready to be internet famous. Bye. And the Beholder, with its uh, numerous orbiting eyes of Nunu, whom we defeated in part through Imp. I don't regret my purchase. Belf, whom we completely ignored until I defeated uh, Grewan the first time. It was just like, okay, I'll go ahead and smoke Belf. And I did. The Flame Lord, who gave me considerable trouble in this run. Regrettable. <laughs> the Flyer, perhaps the eternal bane of my existence in this game. <laughs> Though that might be due to more, like, childhood fear and paralysis, rather than the boss actually being that difficult. I suppose also the flying mechanics of the game give me some trouble. Our melted cheese grotesquery here. The Crawler. There's, uh... There's that adorable creature right there. Our perpetually cackling Arma. And within the final arena, flanked by pillars of flame, Phalanx. Presented by Capcom. And that's the It'll Be Okay run, everyone. Firebrand avenged himself, went through a few more hoops, and then, rather than just hoarding up all the all the crests, uh, and uh, just flying away to lick his wounds, and watching the demon realm fall into, like, chaos and disarray, uh, he just scatters them, and uh, hoping that uh, in the future, we're looking forward to the time when someone else will gather the crests, and then challenge Firebrand for power. Firebrand's like, eh, I've already grown. I don't need these anymore. Who can say, right? Was this really a better ending? It was certainly a bit harder to obtain. Eh, leave that up to you. Anyway, folks, next time we'll be starting the 100% run of Demon's Crest, where, uh, as exactly what it says in the 10, I'll be collecting all the power-ups, fighting all of the bosses and i will be visiting an amazing level three super hard trio the pago for intense headbutting action it'll be a blast look forward to it take care <laughs>